IKEA packaging. Plenty, plenty. I'm sure I can put this to good use. Plenty. Welcome back to my workshop, or should I say, my new workshop. If any of you want to see a video, let me know in the comment section below. So in today's video, I'm going to use some of this honeycomb packaging to tear off the top layer. As you can see, it's got a honeycomb shape and I'm going to make a pen. We can't put anything to waste. So I reckon this is a good idea for trying a new pen. <sighs> you can't do it without a cup of coffee. So firstly what I'm going to do is prepare a piece of honeycomb, cut it to size, uh, fit it to the mold and then put it in a cactus juice, get it stabilized. <laughs> okay. okay so let me get going and do that but before we get going very addictive. My only guilty pleasure in life. Leo in Bali, my friend very far away. Cheers mate. I think I'm gonna go for a very fine honeycomb to start off with. Oh that's nice. This is absolutely the perfect size. Have a look at that. If this works well, I'll have to keep all of that. Okay. Bandsaw, cut to size, stabilize. Okay, that's all done. Um, I did the stabilizing, cut it to size, uh, prepared two, so um, I thought maybe the one just tiny cone would be a bit boring, so what I did, I added two pine cones. So those are the two examples, is a, a close-up look. So these are ready to be casted. This is just to hold it down. Okay, so that's ready for the casting. And as soon as the casting is done, we go to the next step. Cut them to size, troll them, glue them, and then they're ready for the lathe. Anyway, I, I have no idea how this is going to come out so hold thumbs it all should be good because the cardboard honeycomb is stabilized can't go wrong and i reckon the resin will reinforce that as well okay next step <laughs> Just 
just in time I only had seven minutes let me switch this off okay made a bit of a mess doing a casting is always a rush okay so now now we wait I normally take out my resin the next day just to be safe but you can use this in, in a couple of hours that's the Fost Illuminite resin okay sorted let me clean up and I'll check in again tomorrow with you guys Good morning and welcome back. The casting is done. It's looking good. Okay, let me remove it from the, the molds, clean up a bit, and then I'm going to cut it to size. It's looking good. You know, when you're at this stage, then you can't wait to make the pen. Okay, so I'm going to cut them to size, drill them and then glue them. But before I can do that, I must actually decide what pen I'm going to use. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going to do two pens. And both slim lines, one will be gold slim line and the other one will be a green slim line. I'm going to prepare the inserts, the tubes, sand them and glue them in. And then we have to wait unfortunately for the glue to set. And then the, we're ready to actually turn the pens. Excellent. There you go, the blanks are done, it's glued, and now we just wait for the glue to dry, 
auto set and then we can get turning can't wait to see what it's going to look like To the workshop so I'm going to quickly do the lathe work I'm going to fast forward through that and I'll be back with the final product anyway it's looking good looks like these different colors and I reckon it's going to work well but only time will tell Honeycomb actually at the end of the day gave it a very very nice interesting pattern and then the pine cone gave this pen a bit of a spine um, I'm happy with that it was an experiment but there it is the pen's done <laughs> If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell for more videos like this if there's any questions any comments let me have them in the comment section below and until the next time happy pen turning laka laka